From Mr. Freji's point of view, taking into consideration all that Sir John had done for Mr. King, including handpicking him to take control of the country's affairs after the veteran leader fell ill, Mr. King has acted ungratefully. As far as Mr. Freji's is concerned, the reason why Mr. King had been chosen in the first place was because he had been considered trustworthy by Sir John, but as it turned out, according to Mr. Freji's, that trust was unfounded. But we have our very own Julius Caesar going on right here in St. Lucia. And Julius Caesar, for our part in St. Lucia, would be the late Sir John Compton. And we can bring his old family in as Julius Caesar. And Decimus Brutus, the one who pushed that knife in the back of Sir John Compton, is none other than the Prime Minister of this country, Stevenson King. Mr. Fridges feels that Mr. King, out of appreciation for what Sir John had done for him, should have taken Mrs. Jeanine Compton Antoine, the daughter of Sir John, under his wings, but instead he treated her with scant respect. You would have thought that the coming into politics of Janine Compton would have been welcomed by Stevenson King. You would have thought that. You would have thought that Stevenson King would have taken Janine under his wings. And, well, I don't know if he could have taught her anything anyway. But I believe Stevenson King has occupied um, a position in there for a long time and has learned absolutely nothing. You watch his behavior in there and you can see that he has picked up nothing about parliamentary procedure. Right? But in any, at any rate, I am saying you would have thought that Stevenson King would have treated Janine better. Because Janine is the daughter of this person who has done so much for you. Just recently, Mrs. Antoine resigned membership with the United Workers Party. For the DBS News World, I am Don Nicholas reporting. Personally, I felt that the PPP was acceptable and I liked it. I love the PPP. I said, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. We reviewed the proposal and we took a position that we said, hey, as an independent people, we want to manage our own affairs in this regard. Mm -hmm. And in this regard, we said, this is a sound economic proposal that we believe we can handle with the resources at hand, with the, the human resources at hand, we can handle it and to deliver it within a shorter period of time. This can only come from a government who cares. This can only come from a government who has initiative. This can only come from a government with vision, and thank you for helping me.